Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Civil War Reports. I am your War of the Rebellion reporter, Brian Thomas Kopak. And I gotta tell you, I gotta apologize still for this nasty nagging cold that I have. It uh, has not gone away, it's been over a month now. I've been to the doctors a few times, um, trying the latest and greatest prescription that they've uh, suggested and hopefully uh, soon I'll be back to 100%. But until then, sorry, you still have to deal with the voice that's uh, quite hoarse. But it is early December, 2022, it is a beautiful, early December day here in Adams County, Pennsylvania, and I want to take you folks today on a trip to a beautiful structure that is just outside of town. But before we go there, I want to give a big shout out to a personal friend of mine, and it's great that I'm standing in front of the 14th Brooklyn Monument for this shout out, to a personal friend of mine, former co-worker, a buddy of mine named Bobby. Uh, we worked together for a few years, and he was from Brooklyn and I thought he was a little crazy every day driving from Brooklyn, New York up to Rockland County, New York for work but he did it for a couple of years. Uh, great guy then he left to go um, well go ride the trains and uh, he has since moved to Staten Island so now I guess he's Bobby of Staten Island but he's given me a lot of support with this channel from day one so I'm here in front of the 14th Brooklyn. Bobby this shout out is for you and you and everybody else you get to go see a beautiful structure today. Uh, I mentioned this in my episode on the Confederate State Monuments here at Gettysburg. Uh, I'm going to take you today to check out Sachs Covered Bridge. Beautiful bridge. It played a role during the battle. It is not on the Gettysburg National Military Park. Okay, it's just outside of, uh, outside of the park, outside of the town. But let's go check it out because it did play a role during the Battle of Gettysburg. As I mentioned in my video on the Confederate State Monuments, one way to get to Sachs Covered Bridge is to take Route 116 West or West Middle Street outside of town and continue to Seminary Ridge until you get to this intersection. Then you will want to turn left and head down West Confederate Avenue past many of those state monuments I mentioned in that episode. Or, if you're already in town and you're on Steinware Avenue, which is where I'm at right now, you could simply take Steinware Avenue south, outside of town, and once you get outside the borough, the road will revert back to its pre-Civil War name, that being the Emmitsburg Road. Once you drive outside of town on Steinware Avenue, as I said, it becomes the Emmitsburg Road. You're going to pass by the Kadori House, the Klingel House, and the Scherfe House. And you're going to continue until you get to this intersection right here. Over there is the Peach Orchard, and that is the Wheatfield Road. And when you get to this intersection here of the Emmitsburg Road, and Millertown Road, you're gonna turn right, and that will take you down towards Sachs Covered Bridge. And for those who are coming down West Confederate Avenue, shortly after you pass by the Louisiana State Monument and the Mississippi State Monument, you will continue on West Confederate Avenue for a very short distance, and you will come to this stop sign. If you were to make the right, that will take you to Sachs Covered Bridge. Just uh, so you know, this is Millerstown Road here. The continuation of West Confederate Avenue. And once you make the right hand turn, this road becomes Pumping Station Road. After you pass West Confederate Avenue, travel for about a mile and a quarter, and you will come to a bridge over Marsh Creek. Look to your left, and there you will see Sachs Covered Bridge. Once you cross over Marsh Creek, you'll come to a turn, left-hand turn. That is Waterworks Road. Turn there, and that will take you down to a parking area where you can park and then walk over the bridge.
Well, there she is, folks. Uh, I hope I didn't disappoint when I said beautiful structure because, well, in my opinion, this is a very beautiful covered bridge here in Adams County, Pennsylvania. Now, again, it is not part of the Gettysburg National Military Park. Uh, we're a bit of a distance away from uh, from West Confederate Avenue. But what do we know about this bridge? Well, it was built uh, in 1852 by a gentleman by the name of David Stoner at a cost of almost $1,600, which you know, today is nothing, but back then was a large sum of money. The bridge spans 98 feet, and it, as I mentioned, is over Marsh Creek. Okay, so what role does this bridge play during the American Civil War? Well, on July 1st, it was used by Union troops. They crossed over, also troops from the 3rd Corps. And the next day, on July 2nd, wounded troops, particularly from General Longstreet's Corps and probably some from Anderson's division as well, were ferried across this bridge and taken to temporary field hospitals located, well, right in front of me. Now, the area in front of me, which well, I'll show you in a moment, that's now privately owned, so please respect and do not trespass over there, but this area is open to tourists. These fields you are looking at now were temporary field hospitals for the Confederate Army. Again, this area is privately owned. Please respect and do not trespass should you come and visit Sachs Covered Bridge. In 1938, Sachs Covered Bridge was designated by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania as the Commonwealth's most historic bridge. That's a pretty good recognition. Also, as you can see, sitting on top of some uh, pillars here, and um, well, this bridge, believe it or not, was still open to motor vehicle traffic as late as 1968. Now it's only open to pedestrian traffic. So please, when you come here to Gettysburg, try to make a trip here and walk across this most historic bridge. Okay, well this is the inside of Sachs Covered Bridge. And I'm sure there's people out there who are asking themselves, wondering, is the bridge haunted? Well, I guess those are the same people that ask, is the Gettysburg Battlefield and the town of Gettysburg haunted? And I know there's people out there that just don't believe in that stuff, and that's, that's fine, that's, that's your opinion. All I can say is that having been on the battlefield and even in my own home that's not too far away from Gettysburg there's things that I have experienced that I have seen and heard and even smelled that I just cannot explain um, so to answer the question do I think the Gettysburg battlefield is haunted yeah yeah I do uh, as for Sachs covered bridge well I've never been here at night um, but I've talked to numerous people who have been here and um, based on the stories that I've been told uh, again things that cannot be explained without introducing the paranormal element so uh, yeah it's very possible that this bridge does contain people from the Civil War who are still here and one story that I found online that I'll repeat to you and supposedly three southern soldiers uh, defected or were trying to be spies or whatever but they were caught in Union uniforms and they were hung from the rafters here as punishment for being in Union uniforms. When you cross over Sachs Covered Bridge and come down the ramp, you could see this placard here. And it gives you a brief history of Sachs Covered Bridge. And I want to talk about what's written here. 
June 19th, 1996. A couple days before I bought my first piece of property in Adams County. The county suffered, I guess you'd call it the 100 year storm. In a very short period of time, in about an hour, about 11 inches of rain was dumped here in the Gettysburg area. As a result, the bridge was literally lifted and carried about 100 yards downstream. And, well, there was some talk about just given up on the bridge and we would have lost it forever. But luckily, the good folks here in Adams County did not let that happen. At a cost of around $600,000, the bridge was replaced back to where it was on a stronger foundation this time. And it was rededicated on July 21st, 1997. So big shout out to the folks here at Adams County that did not let this important piece of Civil War history be forever lost. Well, I hope I didn't disappoint when I described this as a beautiful bridge because in my opinion it's very beautiful and I hope on your next trip to Gettysburg you will take some time out to travel down here and see what I mean personally again this bridge was walked over by men from the Union first and third Corps as well as wounded men from Longstreet's Corps and it was also used by Longstreet's men as they began their journey back to Virginia. I'm very grateful for the folks of Adams County who donated the necessary funds and did the necessary work to keep this beautiful bridge after that freaky storm back in 1996 that sent it about 100 yards downstream. And again, I hope that when you come here, you'll take the time out to visit this beautiful bridge, and, well, maybe you'll even see a ghost or two. For Civil War Reports, I'm your War of the Rebellion reporter, Brian Thomas Kopak. Until next time, thank you. And if you like what you saw today, please hit the subscribe button, give a thumbs up, also, notify your friends, let them know about this channel, and ask them to subscribe as well. If you like, you may leave a question or a comment below, and perhaps I will answer your question in a future episode of Civil War Reports. Until next time, please keep the history alive.